Hi planner friends, it's Heather from Kell of a Plan and I'm here taking over the Happy Planner Instagram stories for the afternoon. I'm super excited to be here. I'm here to wrap up the Instagram takeover series that has been going on this week and I'm going to kick us off to a great weekend. I hope you're ready to have some fun. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Heather Kell. I live in the beautiful state of Texas, directly in between Dallas and Fort Worth. I plan over at Kell of a Plan, and I like to call my planning style pretty but practical. I love to use all different Mambi products to really show you how to get the most use out of your happy planner. A little bit more about me before we get started. During the day, I'm an instructional technology specialist at an elementary school. I also have a YouTube channel all about planning, and I also sell LuLaRoe clothes with my sister Holly. I'm married to Matthew, or Mr. Kell of a Plan, and we have two really cute dogs. So I have a lot of things going on in my life, which means a lot of planning, and I can't wait to share some of my favorite tips and tricks. So enough about me, let's get to the good stuff. I hope you're ready to have a kill of a good time. So as we all know, the Happy Planner makes tons of beautiful planners, and it's pretty much impossible to just pick one. So I personally use several different planners, and so I'm going to start off just by sharing the planners that I'm using because I have found that when you assign a particular purpose to a planner, it makes it a lot easier. My first planner is what I call my catch-all planner. So anything important that's happening goes into this planner, and it stays at home on my desk. It's really easy for my husband to look at and know what we have going on, and it's just a great place to track everything in my life. My third planner is for my LuLaRoe business and it's the trendsetter planner with the monthly layout and it's just a great planner to really track your business. Here I track our daily sales and then I have different to-do lists throughout and daily lists as well. My fourth planner is this hourly layout and it's my work planner. So I love that the hourly layout really makes it easy to plan my day at work. I only use Monday through Friday so the weekend is always just an extra space for notes but I love how functional it is. My fifth planner is for my faith planner. It's basically a faith journal. It's the horizontal layout, so it makes it really easy to just journal things from my daily devotions, but I also get to decorate it, and so that keeps me coming back to it as well. And my last planner is my memory planner. This is where I keep track of our daily lives. Sometimes I have lots of pictures. Sometimes I don't have very many, but this one is just for fun. It's kind of like a scrapbook, but in a planner version, and so it's not quite as intimidating. My second planner is my mini planner. This is my on-the-go planner. I keep it in my purse, and it keeps tracks of things like to-do lists and errands and grocery lists and things that I need to be able to do when I'm out and about and I may not be near my catch-all planner. Yes, I realize that using six planners might seem extreme to some of you, but my biggest tip is to just figure out a system that works for you and own it and do it. And who cares what other people think? Use as many or as little planners as you want to. One of the things that makes the Happy Planner so great is the fact that it's a disbound system. It's really easy to add in pages to really customize your planner and make it work for you. So now I want to share with you a couple of add-in pages that I've created to really get the most out of my Happy Planner. Okay, so I created this page using a sheet of Mambi notebook paper and some stickers, and it's called When Was the Last Time I? And it's just a great page to remember those things that you have to do, but you don't do them that often. And so you can track when the last time you did them was. Here I used a half sheet weekly meal planner and the stickers from the food sticker book and made a really cute um, dinner plan and grocery list combined that I could easily pop into my planner for the week and it made meal planning super easy. This page was made using the extra pages from the memory keeping pack of paper and I just put a bunch of quotes and a picture of Matthew and I all about setting goals and dreaming and I put it in different weeks where I know I'll need that extra push. This page was created using an old planner page from an old planner and I just folded it in half and I made a packing list for Go Wild and it's just another way to use those pages to really customize your planner. This is another project I created just using a piece of Mambi notebook paper. I took this little poem from Mother Teresa but I wrote it as if I was writing to myself, used some stickers to decorate it and I put it at the front of my old planner. I'm also a really big reader, so I used this piece of notebook paper to create a summer reading list last summer, and I used the little heart stickers just to track the books that I wanted to read, and I stuck this in my planner for July. And for the week of Thanksgiving, I took the daily schedule half sheet, decorated it to be kind of fall colored, and then I kept track of something I was thankful for each day of the week, and I just popped it into my planner for the week of Thanksgiving. 
And I created this sheet also using a sheet of maybe notebook paper for my end of the year checklist. And this is in my work planner, just things I need to get done before summer. Just another way to really customize your planner and add that extra space that you might need sometimes. All right, so I hope that those pages really inspired you to pull out your Mambi note paper, pull out your Mambi half sheets, pull it out and use it and really use it to customize your planner and make it work for you. It's the best thing about using a discount system. Okay, so another thing that I love doing is before the pen spreads. I love being able to sit down and plan them out week and just have the stickers already on the page in the perfect spot. So now I'm going to show you just some tips and tricks on how you can make a really great before the pen spread. Before you can really do a before the pen spread, you have to know what you're going to be putting on your paper with your pen. So you kind of almost have to pre-plan. Now you could do this in your head, you could keep track of things on your phone, or you could write it with sticky notes. If you're new to before the pen spreads, one easy way to really know what you're going to be doing for the week is to just write it all down on a piece of paper and just make notes. This way you kind of know what kind of stickers you need to put on what days. So for example, I have a lot of things to do on Tuesday. Um, so I don't want to cover up too much of Tuesday. I don't have a lot on Thursday, so that might be a good day for a box sticker. I have a lot of YouTube stuff on Monday, so that's going to need a checklist and same with Saturday. One thing to know about my planning style is that I don't use each row for a different thing. Some people might say home, work, kids. I just put things where I think they look good, but you can do whatever you want in your planner. So once you have your to-do list kind of in your mind or written down, it's time to start decorating. And the first thing I do is I look at the colors on my page and I match colors to that so that it coordinates. And I usually try to pick one or two colors per spread. So I started by placing some full box stickers from the Lovely Pastels Tiny Sticker Book on days that I know don't have a ton of things. And so I chose these blues because they coordinate here, and then I love these pastel colors. One thing to remember when you're doing a before the pen spread is to really have a balance on your page. So if I'm going to put a box sticker here, I would not put one right next to it or even on the same row. You kind of want to even it out just so that your pages have some balance to them. After I lay these full box stickers down, I like to grab some boxes, kind of like the ones in this colorful boxes sticker book, and layer them on top of the full boxes so that you're not losing that whole space. And it's also a place where your eyes will be drawn to so you can write really important things there. The whole time that you're planning uh, before the pen spread, you want to be sure that you're referring back to your list. I remember that I had a lot of things to do on Monday and on Saturday, so I went ahead and add checklist in both of those spots, and then I added one on Thursday too just to create a little balance to the spread. When I'm almost done, I like to use these icon stickers here um, to just notate some other important things. It helps to bring in the colors from your spread, and it's also a good way just to highlight an important thing that you have going on. There's all kinds of things that you can put here in your sidebar, but a lot of weeks I just put a motivational quote and then maybe a to-do list over here. And that's pretty much what I've decided to do for this week's before the pin spread. Okay guys, so here is the before the pin spread. I love the pastel colors and I love how it complements the colors that are already on the page. It's super cute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my list that I made earlier and I'm going to fill in this planner with the pen so you can see what it would look like after. Okay, so I obviously didn't fill out the entire spread over here, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can then take your before the pen spread and actually put things into it to make it work for you. And that's just an example of how I do it. I hope those tips and tricks really help you to create the perfect before the pen spread for you. If you want to see more of my process, I have videos on my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio of my profile, so you can check that out. And just remember that whatever you plan, whatever you design is perfect. If it works for you, that's all that matters. Some people love before the pen spreads and some people don't, and that's okay. Do what works for you because then you're actually gonna use your planner. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you wanna see more of my planning process, you can follow me over at Kelly Little Plan. Big shout out to Stephanie and Hannah for letting me take over the Instagram. It was so much fun. Also big shout out to all the other girls who took over all week. You were all amazing and so creative. If you missed any of their stories, here's a list of their names. Be sure to follow them too. It was such a fun week. And don't forget, live creatively and plan a happy life and have a kell of a good time.